I don't think I've ever seen an Ajax team be this bad. They're literally in the relegation zone. But not for long, because I'm going to become the new manager of Ajax. And my goal is obvious. I'm going to fix them. But it's not going to be easy, because I've downgraded every player in the team by five overalls. And honestly, they deserve it for how bad they've been. But look at that. That means talents like Brian Robbie are only 71 rated. Bergwijn, who is one of our best players, is now just 74. It's really going to make fixing Ajax a lot more difficult. And Although we do have a budget of about 33 million, we're only going to be allowed to sign players with a maximum of 82 overall. In this case, with Ajax, it should be all about developing young talents. I guess building up a youth academy is the only way we get Ajax out of this mess. Yo, we go, guys. Season 1 with Ajax. I cannot believe our objective is to somehow get this Ajax team that have been completely downgraded all the way to a Champions League. Do you know what? For now, I think we should just forget the Champions League. Let's focus on making Ajax the best team in Netherlands first. Can't have them getting relegated, man. Nah, they're such a historic club. It would be embarrassing. The good thing, though, about Ajax is that we've got money to spend, about 33 million, and yup, we've got some transfer rules, a maximum of 82 overall on any player we sign. But with this money, we can probably bring in a good young talent and set up the youth academy, coaching staffs, and everything. But let's start things off by looking at this Ajax team and just figure out why on earth are they this bad? Okay, yeah, we've got a 65 rated right winger. Well, he would 70 before, but yeah. Oh, come on. They've gone from Frankie de Jong in the middle of the park with Tahirovic with 50 pace. At the back, there are some good talents like Wrench, Sutalo, Hato. We've got Bergwijn as well, but you can see the level of talent that Ajax once had, it's not there anymore. And I think the only way we can fix that is through the Youth Academy. We've got a good scout from Netherlands, and I'm thinking we should spend more money on another scout, but 4 million is a lot. Do you know what? First season, I'm just gonna use the one scout, send him to Netherlands for like nine months let him just bring us the best dutch talents in the world but this is a long-term project it's not going to really help us become the best team in netherlands now for now guys we need to figure out what we can do to improve this team and instantly i'm thinking we need a new right winger first if we're not gonna get goals we're gonna get relegated anyways and i'm a big fan of michael olise i really think the frenchman would fit in so well into our team he's only 21 super young below 82 overall we can sign him although it's gonna be tight because he's gonna almost most eat up our entire budget. But I think this is the first step in fixing Ajax. Just bringing some quality talents. Because I know Ajax are all about developing talents. But they're also about making the right signings at the right time. And that's something we've got to do in this one. Gonna start with 25 million as my first offer for Olise. 28 million. Do you know what? That isn't too bad. But I'm super stingy and we're Ajax. We don't have unlimited money. So we're gonna settle for 26. Come on. And there you go. It is a new era for Ajax. And we're starting things off by bringing in Olise. I just realized that instantly Olise becomes our highest rated player with that 78 overall. It's just made me realize how difficult this minus 5 overall thing is going to make things for us. Because it kind of makes the existing talent we've got, like Joseph Sutala, who is 79 rated by the way, back down to 74. It's going to take him longer to grow. The same with players like Brian Robbie, Reg, who is one of the most promising right backs. But hey, it makes sense because Ajax have been absolutely woeful in real life. Oh, Hopefully with Olise, things will be a bit better. We do still have about 5 million left, and I'm glad we didn't sign another youth scout. Because we're going to need to spend quite a bit of money on coaches. But first, what kind of tactical vision do we want to play with Ajax? I'm thinking Tiki Taka keeping the ball. That's what Ajax have been good at attacking swiftly. Yeah, let's run with that. But we're going to need some good coaches to help our player growth. Oh my, we've literally got a 5 star in everything, coach. Going to put him in the attack. Ah, but the rest of the coaches, uh, options aren't looking all that good, but a solid goalkeeper coach will certainly help. So far, we've managed to get four decent coaches. As we progress through with Ajax, I'm sure we'll be upgrading our coaching department a lot. But for the first season, that's what we've managed to do. I've not really got big expectations from the team. I think first season's going to be just finding out which players we need to be betting on and just building a solid foundation. And so we're making our first season through the Eredivisie. We've made it to the end of the season and it's so nice to see Ajax not in the relegation zone. But where have we actually finished? And it's third. That's not too bad, you know. Even after downgrading our team massively, still third. This is a good sign. We're on the right track. And I'll tell you this, signing Michael Olise was a fantastic decision. Look at the season he's had. 13 goals, 9 assists, brilliant. And slowly, players like Bergwijn are getting back to their original ratings. We were also in the Europa League where we finished second in our group. But the Europa League was a bit too much for us as we got knocked out in the 
round of 32. But you know what? This first season's been really helpful in getting our players back to their original ratings and back to being Ajax and not in the relegation zone. I've also kind of figured out the players we need to build this team around. Players like Olisi, Robbie and Bergwijn who are slowly getting back to their ratings. Sutalo and Wrench at the back too. But still, getting Ajax to the Eredivisie title is going to be tricky and next season, we're going to have to bring in more improvements. I'll just say one thing. It's time for the infamous Ajax Youth Academy to come into play. Season 2 and I told you the Youth Academy will come through at Ajax and there you go. A couple of incredible talents. Starting with Jimmy Jacobs, a 72 rated CDM, only 18 years old. Bro, look at his stats. He somehow has 89 shot power and 85 long shots. That's honestly a quality CDM. And you know guys, CDM is a position we actually need to improve upon so that's actually brilliant. But we've also got Rick Kramer, 69 rated a cam. He's even younger at 17. His stats are pretty incredible too. Do you know what? Normally, I would just loan these players out and wait for them to develop into better players before integrating them into our first team. But here at Ajax, they've got a history of just directly throwing at their academy players into the deep end, putting them in the starting 11. And that's what I think I want to do. So I just promoted Jacobs to the first team as well as Rick Kramer. Jacobs literally goes straight into the starting 11, man. I think we're going to need to just keep him there, let him develop because he's going to be insane. We've got Bergwies though in that camp position. He's 32. So to start with, I think Rick Kramer is going to be coming off the bench. That's going to help his development, I think. Also this season, we've had a couple of really good players come back from their loan spell like Owen Weindel. He's going to be awesome at left back. And even Francisco Conceição. And honestly, that's really improved our squad depth as well. If we can make a couple of good signings in key positions, I genuinely feel like we can get Ajax to the top of the edit of VC. And of course, we do still have a budget of 47 million, but the rule is still there. 82 rating is the maximum we can sign a player for. I'll be honest, guys. Right now, I'm considering getting either a better center mid or a better center back. We could do maybe both as well. Because like, although Hato is good, he's only 18 years old as well. Do I want to trust him or get maybe someone better? Do you know what? It's the Ajax DNA to trust their youngsters. That's what's got them to the top. We're going to trust Harto to be our main center back. But we're going to have to be patient with him because he's only 68 rated. That means I guess we're improving our midfield. I've been thinking that we need a bit of experience in the midfield, but more quality as well. And Donny van der Beek might just fit the bill. We could revive his career, man, because I feel he was at his best when he was at Ajax. Then he went to Manchester United and his career completely fell apart. He's 78 rated, but he's 27. We are allowed to sign him. Can we get a good deal out of this? All right, I'm going to try and get him for like 15 million. That would just be unbelievable. Come on, Den Hag, help out your former club. There you go. Eric Den Hag still loves and respects Ajax. I do not think we could have made a smarter signing than this. Bringing back Van der Beek to Ajax. He knows what it's like to play for this club. This just works. Not going to lie, Van der Beek coming in is top tier. We've, I think, got the team to win the editor visa for sure. Especially if the youngsters start growing more, the youth academy players can integrate well. I think, yeah, it's time to get Ajax back to the top of Netherlands. And so we're making it through another season of the editor visa. Have we managed to get Ajax back to the top of the editor visa? No, we finished third once again. This time, even further back than AZ. Bruh, I, I don't know what went wrong. Even in the Europa League, once again, we couldn't get out of the preliminary round. I mean, look at Robbie, Olisa, and Bergwijn. They've grown so much. Van der Beek as well. So is our academy talents. Do you know what? I feel like we're being let down by our goalkeeper and even Harto. He's got to be growing faster, man. I'll tell you this, though. Olise is that guy. He's going to be the player that helps get Ajax out of this mess and to the very top of European football. But we've got to build a good team around him. To make things worse, it's time to say goodbye to Steven Bergwies. And look at that. He's had a stellar season as well. 20 goals. We won't even have him next season. I'm not going to lie. Fixing Ajax is turning out to being a lot more difficult than I expected. We're now into our third season with Ajax. And I think we have the team to win the editor VC. I mean, how are we going to win the Champions League if we can't win the Dutch League? It's really time for the Youth Academy prospects that we've got to make an impact as we've got Kramer starting. Jacobs as well has become a starter. We need these two to perform. But apart from that, I'm thinking 
thinking about improvements. Do we get a new center back finally? But with Hato being 19 years old, I kind of want to still trust him, but it's so far costing us. One thing I've definitely decided to do is bring in a new keeper. Geronimo Ruli is 33, simply not good enough. And our budget every season is improving, so I think we can make a really good signing. And look who I found, guys. Bart Berber again from Netherlands itself. He's 80 rated, which means we are allowed to sign him. He's only 22 as well. He could be the keeper that gets us the editor visa title. And so for 33 and a half million, we've brought in a goalkeeper that could lead Ajax's backline for the next decade. Bart Verber again, welcome to Ajax. I just realized we signed him from Brighton. He's got Premier League experience as well. What a transfer. All right, guys, we've now got our goalkeeper. The only thing that's left to be decided is whether we bring in a better center back. We have the money to sign someone decent, but I kind of still want to trust Jarrell Harto. He might become the next Matthias De Ligt, but I think this is going to be the final season for Harto. We'll trust him, but if he doesn't grow a lot this season, I think it's time for us to make a replacement because the rest of this team is more than good enough to win the Eredivisie. And so we're getting through the season to find out if we can finally win the league. We've made it to the end of the season and that's what I'm talking about. Jarrell Harto up to a 77. I'm so glad we kept our faith in him because now he's looking like an amazing center back. Not just that, all round the growth looks pretty awesome. So Dalo up to an 84. Look at our keeper, he's 84 rated as well. We're slowly building a team that can win trophies and talking about trophies. We've made the conference league final. Okay, now I know this is even worse than the Europa League. Just forget even the Champions League, but it's going to be good experience. Yo, I'm actually curious to see if we can actually win this. Come on, let's see. Conference League final. We take an L. Wait, what? We miss out on Eredivisie by one point? Bruh, we can't even make Ajax the best team in Netherlands. I cannot believe that it's been three seasons and this team hasn't even won the league. Guys, time is running out. If we don't win the Eredivisie next season, I think we might get sacked before we even get a chance to be in the Champions League. By the way, guys, we just hit 900,000 subscribers. So close now to achieving my dream of hitting 1 million. And if you guys can help me out by subscribing, that would be amazing. We came so close to winning the Conference League as well as the Eredivisie. We're close to getting Ajax back to the top of Netherlands. But there's still something missing in this team. And I don't think it's a new signing. Because if you look at our first team, the talent is there. Our attack station, we've got a really talented midfield experience with Van Der Beek. Defense is constantly improving, but I'll tell you this. I think we could really do with a better player than Steven Bergwijn down the left. And the funny thing is, we've already got one. Francisco Conceição is already here at Ajax. He's only 23 years old, already 82 rated. This is the kind of player that could be big for us in the future. And so Conceição becomes a starter, Bergwijn on the bench. I'll tell you this though, it is now time for Ajax to win the editor visa. No excuses. We're now at the end of season four with Ajax. Come on, sure. Only this season we've won the Eredivisie. We've got the team. Can we pull this off? And yes, guys, finally, four seasons of taking a relegation threat in Ajax all the way to the top of Netherlands. We've done it. I told you guys Conceição was going to be clutch for us. Look at him. He's up to an 85 overall. Not just that, our entire attack is absolutely insane. Even the academy players are now growing really well. Look at Harto up to an 81. Two seasons ago, he was 70 rated. While we can celebrate winning the Eredivisie, this was expected from us. The ultimate goal is to get Ajax to a Champions League. And even with such a good team, that's not going to be easy. Because this season, we did qualify for the Champions League. But we got absolutely humbled in the round of 16. Somehow, we're going to have to figure out a way to make Ajax European champions. All right, guys. We've got Ajax to the top of the editor VC. But now, Champions League is our goal. The truth is, no matter what we do, we're going to be underdogs in the Champions League. We don't have the squad to compete with Man City. And even though our budget's 107 million, we can't sign crazy players because we've got a max rating of 82 limit on us. So I'm thinking our best bet is trusting this team, these youngsters, but we can still make signings and add players onto our bench to improve our overall squad depth, and that's what I'm gonna do. To start things off, look at this. Amantialo's 81 rated, super young. He'd be the kind of squad depth that could really help the team. And I think his contract's expiring, so we should be able to get him for like 35 million, and I was right. And so we've got Amar Diallo joining Ajax. Not gonna lie, making signings like this is gonna be key. Because look at that, boys. Diallo improves the bench so much. But we could also do with more depth in the centre-back position. And I really like Calvin Bassi, the Nigerian centre-back, 27 years old, 81 rated. He'll give us some solid squad depth. For 30 million, we've got ourselves a quality centre-back. And there you go, guys. We've done 
what we can to improve this team. But are we good enough to win the Champions League? Ooh, we've got a difficult group, man, with Napoli, Benfica, and Shakhtar. Let's first see if we can survive the group stage. Hang on a minute, guys. We're second in the Champions League group, and we gave Napoli a run for their money. Do you know what? Maybe this team has got something special. Maybe we are the underdogs of the Champions League. We need to try and recreate that iconic run that Ajax had back in 2018. Oh, but their team back then was insane. Frankie de Jong, Van de Beek was a part of it as well. Dusan, Tadic, and Ziyech. But yeah, we need to channel those spirits and see what happens. Now time for the knockouts, and we're up against West Ham in the round of 16. Not gonna lie, I'm looking at their team, and I do fancy my chances. Also, I just noticed they've got a couple of former Ajax players in there, Kudus and Edson Alvarez. Come on, man. Let's get a good result in the first leg. An advantage would be huge, and let's go. We get the win. Van der Beek and Robbie scoring, although he missed the penalty as well. But this is good. And I'd say that's job done in the second leg. But now in the quarters, we've drawn Napoli. I think among the remaining teams, we're definitely the dark horses of this competition. I'm looking at my team, and I genuinely feel like we have the talent to win the Champions League. But we're going to need a lot of luck. And that starts right here against Napoli. Let's see if we can get a result in the first leg. And it's a two-all draw. We're putting up a fight. We still need to beat Napoli in the second leg. Come on. Can we get a result here? And we do in extra time. Oh, my days. Six on aggregate. We've just knocked out Napoli. And now it's only Juventus between us and a Champions League final. We've literally recreated what Ajax did back in 2018. But can we take it one step further by knocking out Juventus? This would be huge. And it's a 2-0 win against Juventus. Let's go. But guys, we should still hold our horses because I remember back in that 2018-19 season, Ajax had the craziest bottle job ever. They let Lucas Mora score a hat-trick on them and they were out of the Champions League. We're not going to let that happen to us. Let's get the result against Juventus. Oh my days, it was close. They could have knocked us out, but we managed to hold on. Ajax in a Champions League final. This season's been crazy, man. Olise has just been an unbelievable signing. Look at his goals. Robbie did the job as well. Van der Beek, man. I, I can't believe this redemption arc for him. And of course, we have made the Champions League final. I don't know how we're going to handle Bayern Munich, but it's a chance to somehow make Ajax, the best club in the world. Meanwhile, guys, we did secure back-to-back -back Eredivisie titles. It now comes all down to this, boys. Can we win the Champions League? We're massive underdogs for this game, because look at our team. The Youth Academy players, Jacobs and Kramer, they haven't even reached full potential. Sosa is unavailable because of a red card, so Weindel is going to have to play. And just look at that Bayern Munich team. We're not on the same level. But here we go, boys. It's a chance to complete an iconic underdog story from a relegation-threatened club all the way to the Champions League. Let's do this. Come on, Olise. I feel he's going to be huge for us, man, because he's he's an absolute baller. Big 89 rated. Goes for goal. I can't believe it. It's an iconic start in the Champions League. That is actually ridiculous. We're one to love. Yo. Nah, guys. Ajax might actually be winning the Champions League. I can't believe how Olise has just done that. Okay, but the game begins now because we're seeing Musiala on the charge here. Looking for a cross. It's dangerous. And Serge Napri should have scored that. Guys, 12 minutes in. The pressure's crazy. But so far, we've got the advantage. Let's keep it for as long as possible. Since our goal, it's literally been all Bayern Munich. And I just can't do anything to stop them. We're going slide again. We got completely done for there. And Julian Alvarez gets a goal back for them. I'll be honest, guys. We got super lucky with that first goal. A moment of magic. But now it's going to be a real test for this team's character. Let's see if we can compete with Bayern. Now with Olise, everything looks possible as he keeps going. Literally unstoppable right now. Still Olise looking for an angle to get a shot off. And he goes for it again, but the keeper saves. Honestly, the fact that we've kept it 1-1 at halftime, it's a tight game. We're the underdogs. But we just need a bit of luck in these next 45 minutes to create history with Ajax. Oh, no, Bayern have gone through. Julian Alvarez, good save from our keeper. Second half, guys. It's literally been all about surviving another save. We need to find that one moment in this game that could give us something. And it could be here because Bayern have been caught. And Olise is absolutely rapid. Here he goes. Keeps going, Olise. Tough angle. 
no, the keeper saves. That was the chance. Guys, we've just got 15 minutes on the clock. I think whoever gets the next goal is going to win the Champions League. We need somebody to step up for us. There's our academy prospect, Kramer. Oh, that's a lovely run. He stooped everybody looking for the cutback. No, that was close. We still have it with Van der Beek. Van der Beek has done it. Oh, my days. What a redemption arc for Van der Beek. It had to be him. His career went completely downhill ever since he left Ajax. But he comes back home where he belongs and wins us possibly the Champions League. And that's it, boys. It's job done. We've just made Ajax Champions League winners. It almost feels like we've replicated that 2018-19 season for Ajax. But this time, we actually finished the job. The fact that we pulled this off with all those difficult rules hampering us makes it even more special. From relegation to all the way to the Champions League with Ajax. If you thought this journey with Ajax was difficult, wait till you watch me try and fix Wrexham. Oh my days was that tough. Click here to watch that.